he had to go out of his way extra out of his way to even find to the, look woman for the woman yes. in the first place and you know to see the backlash that he received for returning the money it is it tells you where the mind of the average poor nigerian is if i get that kind of money there's no way after all i did not steal it yeah. god brought it to me you know we begin to thank god and give testimonies there's no way I'm returning and, it. and say how god decided to just gift us the monies but what is our um, culture of rewarding good behavior in this country? I would say little to none. That's what the situation and, is. And so how do we get to encourage people to do the right thing? Mm. If there are no incentives for it? It's just people working with their conscience. That's what it boils down to at the end of the day. What you feel is good because there's no guiding principle that we can say is the principle based on being a Nigerian. And I don't want to tag this to di um, division as has been tagged over and over again. I think this is way beyond uh, how divided we are at, at this time as a country. It goes to speak to desperation, you know, want a want a need that has not been met by government and then you can even say basic exactly those things that people things. can't imagine um a good place to live should be fundamental a basic right but that man didn't have it the question i would ask myself and i would try to uh, honestly answer in private is if it were me hmm. would i have acted in the same way that the man did but i had returned the man yes <laughs> Let's put it there. We will ask every other person to, to look at that. Uh, but, you know, um, I saw this, and I want you to also be part of it. We have appointed the winner of the Big Brother Niger lockdown, Alam Lekon Moshud, Youth Ambassador of Ogun State, in addition to house and cash gifts. And the governor said, entertainment and academics mix finally for a good result. So I urge parents to let their children explore outside the classroom. That will be a state governor. What's your take on this? It came to me as a surprise, but uh, okay, it came to me as a surprise, but not exactly a huge surprise. Uh, why it, it came to me as a surprise is a lot of people have very strong um, beliefs about Big Brother Ninja and how it is inappropriate, you know, how it shouldn't be aired. We saw arguments, not just in this edition, previous editions, of how people who oppose the program say the federal government should ban multi choice from allowing some um, airing things like that on. Uh, um, the television and then you turn around and see a state governor adopting um, a winner into his state executive council and not just that gifting him five million naira and a three-bedroom bungalow in the, uh, the state capital it's more like bringing something that was an aside right into the middle endorsing if you like Big Brother Niger and encouraging other people to go into that. Mm. That uh, is what it felt um, to uh, yeah, to, like to me. And I, I wonder what critics will say about uh -huh. this action because a lot of them say Nigerian youth have nothing at all to learn from Big Brother Niger and it should be something that's discouraged. Instead, we should do more academically oriented um, reality TV shows. I wonder what such people will think about this. For me, it seems like an endorsement, you know. Okay, well, you can be part of it. Uh, I'd like you to make some comments about that on Twitter and on Facebook. Let's go to the newspaper headlines right away. Yeah, I've, uh, I have the uh, This Day newspaper. That's what I will be starting with today. INEC expresses concern over violence in Ondo. There was a signing of a peace pact yesterday and yeah. still some drama uh, with the refusal by the incumbent governor to shake to the shake hands of his... his deputy. Yes, and... Were you surprised? I, I played something maybe two weeks ago or so. I, I don't know where I, where I played it, but there was this clip I got where mm -hmm. Akedulu okay, said that oh, yes. certain people are his enemy. Yes. Okay, I don't know, last week, yes. Bogus, yes, that's Bogus, a, and Bogus enemy. Yes. Where you said you should have said Bogus friend. Yes. You know? so, so a man who says some people are is bogus enemies you can you can imagine how much it would probably shake someone to consider the traitor it was all about putting up a show i would have thought that just for but the, the show but, but the man is it. not is not willing to put up a show That's this guy is my enemy the entire idea of signing a peace pact is to make it appear even when there isn't in real sense that there is peace and peace and would so endure no, during no, that's the no, that's no genuineness you know, in that there is no sincerity 
in that if he openly says, okay, I'm, I'm embracing him, but in my heart, I hate him. There's two ways to look at it, right? You could say he's right to express the way that he felt he's he angry waved, at this he guy. Waved, he waved at him. We saw what happened in Edo. These guys were loggerheads before the peace pact and they embraced each other. It wouldn't have taken anything, Out you know. Him. That could be a message to the followers of the two that there isn't peace enough amongst them. And that can that entirely goes against the spirit of the peace pact, uh, if you ask me. So I think that I was agree. totally yeah, unnecessary. Uh, okay. Punch this up says now, John economy unstable, directionless, and Buhari says economic society and uh, resign and go into farming. Also replies, Minister. And IGP orders AIG CPs to sack, prosecute errant cops. And this is how the punch reported this. Akele Dolution's deputies handshake as candidates sign peace accord. Was that really a peace accord? If someone is saying, I'm not shaking your hand. I mean, what does it mean? It means that we're still fighting. Exactly. That's the point. But, well, it depends on who's interpreting uh, Okay. LCCI says Nigeria's debt fast becoming unsustainable may reach 34 trillion naira. An internet for suspect changes plea in 950 million dollar scam millions of nigerians extremely poor or shimbaju admits if millions of nigerians are extremely poor as uh, the president has uh, accepted this idea that they can pull 100 million people out of poverty is it a reality or a mirage i'm just asking uh, nigerian economy unstable igp orders a aig cps to sack prosecute errant cops missing child ondo pastor bags life imprisonment and court lampoons police vandal electrocuted while stealing lagos transformer cable uh, okay that's from the punch newspaper all right other headlines from this day northern elders join clamo for restructuring say nigeria failing mbs states fct's half-year igr slump by 81 billion naira police can't scrap sars says force headquarters and that was the ppro of the police speaking yesterday in an instagram live that he had with artist naira mali and when asked if um, um sas can be scrapped he says uh, there's no way that's going to happen uh to quote him he says we uh okay we won't be protesting anymore okay that doesn't seem uh, to be the part I'm looking for. You talk about end SARS. You cannot end SARS, but let us ask for reform. Why do you want to end SARS? Um, are you an armed robber? That's Naira Mali now saying. Mm. Uh, the PPRO had earlier said, we need what we need to do is to reform SARS and make them responsive, uh, responsible, and make them work in accordance with laid down procedures. We need them to continue to respond to violent crimes. We need them to continue to respond to armed robberies and uh, kidnapping. Mm. Okay, the point newspaper says, uh, quickly, let me just take this. APC leaders, Jagadez coordinator clash over Mackinde spending. Some leaders of the All Progressive Congress in New York State have accused Governor Mackinde of sponsoring hoodlums to cause violence before and during the Saturday governorship election in Nundo State. The Director General of the APC Communication and Strategy Frontier, Mr. Wale Alani Wajo and Director of Organization Alaji Olawale Shadari, in a statement on Tuesday accused Mackinde of wasting the state's meager resources on Nundo State poll in order to further its political nest. The state reads, we know how the same People's Democratic Party candidate Ita Odegede prosecuted his campaign in 2016 with minimum patronage of political thugs. But we are now seeing the turn of events when Governor Makinde is being made to influence things within a PDP. And it is on this note that we are putting the whole world on notice that the Governor of your State should be held responsible for any security breach in Ondo before, during, and after the Saturday election. How do you accuse someone from your State of violence in Ondo State? We we'll take a break. We we'll come back. We we'll have more stories for you. Stay with us. Splash FM 105.5. Honey, my body sweet me as you take me out for dinner tonight. <laughs> um, knowing you, <coughs> now the best thing will not happen for my life, honey. <laughs> uh -uh. Take on 
Come easy, honey. Why this cough again? Nothing fee spoil your date, madam. You never hear of comics. Yes, oh, say comics. Comics. Oh, yes. Comics now easy to use solution for each cough. Just tear, drink, and feel relief. Now, Orange Drugs Limited, they distribute harm. If symptoms never stop after three days, make you walk go see your doctor. Ah, I feel relief now. I love you, honey. I love comics. Comics, comics, comics. Ah, no comics, no comics. Ah, Gary Waka. Awesome screen. Awesome camera. Long lasting battery life. Waka oh, smart with A3 core. Oh. That's not the secret money smartphone. One crack with 4G. Where they make your internet connect to VM in no time. With 3000 mega ampere long lasting battery. This phone will get Baba sound for enjoyment. Because of the external sound grid. And you fit find the phone if you lost. Oh, with the yeah. find my device feature. All this plus more. Now in the secret phone money of 35,000 naira. Visit any Samsung store nationwide for your own. Battery life. Awesome when you wake up in the morning before you start your day, breakfast time is chaos time. For work and for play, for a great start to your day, breakfast time is chaos time. Give your family a tasty, nourishing breakfast of Kellogg's cereal. Powered with the goodness of grains and 11 essential vitamins and minerals. Now also available for just 50 naira. Breakfast time is chaos time. Whichever way you like it, own it with your chest. Straight from a pack or from a cup. Own it with your chest. Either the new Maltina vanilla flavor or pineapple flavor. Own it with your chest. And when the taste-piration fills you, what do you do? Own it with your chest. Mm. Because whichever way you like it, you can own the flavor. Enjoy the taste of Maltina, available in new pineapple and vanilla flavors. Maltina, share happiness. This is what breakfast in my house sounds like. Mommy, cornflakes, milk. Mom, tea, please. Babe, coffee with extra milk, please. Even me, I'm not left out with pap and milk. It's still a milky breakfast in my home, despite these hard times. Thanks to the Awoof at its peak promo, I get free sachets of pick milk or pick yogurt every time I buy pick milk or pick yogurt. This way, my family can keep enjoying a nourishing pick breakfast every morning. Hurry to the store closest to you and grab your Awoof Big Milk. Terms and conditions apply. Mommy Milk! <laughs> Promo ends 31st October 2020. Peak. Rich for your peak. Awesome screen, awesome camera, long lasting battery life. Waka smart with A3 core. That's not the secret money smartphone. One crack with 4G. Where they make your internet connect to VM in no time. With 3000 mega ampere long lasting battery. This phone will get Baba sound for enjoyment. Because of your external sound grid. And you fit find the phone if you lost. With the find my device feature. All this plus more. Now in the secret phone money of 35,000 naira. Visit any Samsung store nationwide for your own. Battery life. See a deal you lock at the fetter and you know we be a dark way a full mini amala may look like a day we do every fuku shati cocoto a body or group you got a better weba ever so we are to be bani be a shimara on jessino yi beg gallery you came out of we buy a mara quatem oh a luni or a lot of sherry for one more day my fee by sherry you you to tell you your quatem tico basia you pada lay on jometa lorito kitare Malaria don't let me bust in yo. Now the time don't reach for my lad to show and we. Oh yeah, off a court. Show malaria we. Say bye bye to me malaria. Don't reach, make you collect your mumu potion for malaria hand with Malak. The better medicine from me and Baker. We don't make quality products past 75 years. Malak contains dehydroatomicinin by Paraquin, where they work inside body for up to six weeks and they stop malaria from knocking you glass balls. All you need to do now to take three tablets for three days and the medicine goes summer the malaria commodity and body sharp jab. Now the power of Malak to be that. Malak, your control button for malaria. If the pharmacy we did near you, if symptoms persist after three days, make you go see a doctor a product of me and big only dstv brings you the very best football action with more than 20 live matches any given week from the best leagues in the world the premier league la liga Serie A, and the champions league we're talking igalo salah kane aguero pogba griezmann messi and ronaldo 
Get the HD decoder, dish, and one month compact subscription for only 18,600 naira. We have the world's best football only on DSTV. Jebu Kabiti, ni inu ipo longo rire onga season to millions. Da adota sa sheche yike yi sebe onga pada. Ba kadi po ha, o si le jekan, ni inu a wolo rire meji le la adorin, ti o je milyon lu kokan naira, la anre o se bejo. Okpo lopo ebu lo wan le fun jije, la ti o jok keje o shuke san, ti ti do jok kokan le logbo o shuke wawo do 2020. O fi anti la na wawo, a jok NLRC, a ti FCCPC, pon te lu. Onga, mama's helping hand. Flash FM 105.5. We've got the city a lot of down. Got my own city that I hold down. We are all splash. 105.5. Oh, I want to tell you the story of Ibrahim and Blessing. Uh, you may not know that Ibrahim is the most common name in Nigeria. Ibrahim's father is a career politician who has never done any real work in his life. When it was time for Ibrahim to write his Waek and his Jamb exams, his father paid someone to write them for him. <clears throat> At university, Ibrahim quickly joined the cult. And by the time he was at 200 level, he was already an accomplished rapist. Ibrahim never read for one day. He relied on paying lecturers for marks, a practice known as sorting and intimidating those that initially refused to be sorted. Lecturers would often go on strike to complain about their poor pay and the poor facilities they have to work still handouts. When the strike goes on for too long, parents and students start to agitate. Government will make the lecturers promises that he knew he could not keep just to get them to call off the strike. Ministers of Labor traditionally have no training in conducting negotiations. As far as, as far as each minister is concerned, they will say, I just need to tell them any lie they want to hear to get them to call off the strike. The next minister can deal with the problem in five years' time. At university, Ibrahim fell in love with Blessing, a student from another university. Blessing lost her mother when she was just two years old. Her mother was shot by a policeman from SARS, the special anti-robbery uh, squad, whom she refused to give a 20 naira bribe. The hospital wasn't compassionate when she was brought in injured. They insisted on a police report and on payment. And while waiting for that, Blessing's mom bled to death. At the beginning of each semester, Blessing's father, a poorly paid civil servant, will say he has no money to give her and uh, he expects her to do what other girls her age do to survive. Blessing soon became an Abuja big girl. I was dating several men that were old enough to be her father. The dean of her faculty had a reputation for sexually harassing young girls, but was particularly obsessed with Blessing. Blessing never had to study and wasn't even in school most of the time, but had to beg the dean not to give her a first-class degree as she was worried about having to defend it later in life. When Ibrahim graduated, his dad made sure that he was posted to a juicy parastatal for NYSC and, they, and that they retained him afterwards. Things were going well for Ibrahim, but his relationship with Blessing broke up after a very bitter quarrel. You see, Blessing didn't realize that her newest sugar daddy was actually Ibrahim's dad. When Ibrahim found out, he developed a deep hatred for people from Blessing's part of the country. He threatened to kill her as she had to emigrate to Canada through one of her helpers. Her dad died from medical negligence two years after retiring without a house to his name anywhere in Nigeria or abroad. Blessing blames Nigeria for everything. She now hates the country with a passion and vows never to return. Although Ibrahim was not terribly smart, he had a very caustic tongue 
and a fearsome reputation on social media for his ability to rain abuse and curses on anybody, no matter their age. Very soon, he was made a special assistant on new media to a minister, and after a few years, was appointed the head of a government agency with a clear target for making cash returns to those that facilitated his appointment. Okay, what do you see to that story? It's, it's, uh, it's I don't know, it's, it b tells the story of perhaps Nigeria, you know. Uh, let's just say Ibrahim is the privileged mm. child born with a silver spoon Nigerian. And so he gets and whatever he likes Absolutely. Wants. Well, people like Blessed. Well, I don't think it entirely captures... Um, Blessing does not... Um, capture the um, no, it, it, personality of all the no, not all. young it, Nigerians in that class. Ne neither did Ibrahim, but it's a a a a, a girl, a prototype mm. that had happened, that is happening, that could happen. Yes, absolutely. That, that I agree. Is shaping. Totally, I agree. I think that's a typical story that you could find within a Nigerian society. That was Dr. Joe Abba telling that story. Anyway, let's get back to the newspapers and then before we take that break quickly. Oshibajo, squabbles must end in people's interest. That's coming from the nation's newspaper. APC, PDP in final push for votes. That's talking about Ondo State. And Yaga is making a statement here how we will verify the polls in Ondo. That's coming from the nation's newspaper. On COVID-19, federal government lauded for involving local scientists. And Subeb, UBEC trained 2,509 teachers in Cross River State. All right. Uh, on the Tribune, Edo Speaker six others formally defect to PDP as House adopts the business calendar for second quarter of 2020. Executive legislative retreat to APC. Take control of your members. Uh, there's also uh, the story of the CJN lauding judicial officers for keeping wheels of justice rolling. You'll also find missing boy court sentences showed Toby Ray founder to mm. life imprisonment. Should you be FG orders fresh probe into alleged 2.6 billion naira school feeding scandal, and uh, Crown Prince five others killed in Plateau. COVID-19 to create additional 150 million extreme poor by 2021, as attributed to the World Bank. And why SARS will not be scrapped? As coming from the police. Let's take a break. I'll be back to take your calls. Stay with us. Flash FM 105.5. Quick, charge it 240. Hot news. Cool vibes. Sports and more on the Integrity Station. He's Nikki. She's Ria. Together we have your BBC Minute. Facebook and Instagram are banning all groups and accounts linked to QAnon. That's the conspiracy theory movement. It's the latest move to try and crack down on its dangerous misinformation and fake news spreading. Now you may have seen the name Stephen Miller trending. He is the latest senior aide to President Trump to test positive for the coronavirus. Meanwhile, yet another major Hollywood blockbuster is being delayed due to the virus. Jurassic World Dominion won't arrive in cinemas until until June 2022. Football Jamaican international Junior Flemings has been banned for six games in his US league. It's after the Phoenix Rising star made a homophobic comment to a rival player. Colin Martin from the San Diego Loyals is openly gay and his teammates walked off in protest, forfeiting the game and making global headlines at the time. And from football to basketball, LeBron James and the LA Lakers are trending. Yet yeah, they beat Miami Heat to go just one game away from winning the NBA Finals. 0559G. BBC Minutes. Quick, charge at 2.40. Hot news. Cool vibes. Sports. And more on the Integrity Station. Splash FM 105.5.
welcome back. This story is one thing that I thought I would have taken long before now. Buhari presents 2021 budget to National Assembly on Thursday. What is the essence of these budgets that we present every year? To guide our spending. Now, how far we go with the spending every year is entirely a different question. But of course, we have to do these things. We just have to go through the emotions. The rituals. Yes, of uh, uh, presenting the budget, getting approvals. At the end of the day, we don't um, implement up to 60% and then the year is over. But again, the, co the circle continues. I still don't get it. I'm still thinking about what we do with this. More like we deceive ourselves all the time okay. about, about it. The President uh, Buhari will tomorrow present the 2021 budget estimate at a joint session of the National Assembly. The President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, made the announcement at plenary on Tuesday. Lawan confirmed, uh, received the official letter from Buhari, which he read to his colleagues. The letter read in part, May I crave the kind indulgence of the distinguished Senate to grant me the slot of 11.00 hours on Thursday, 8 October 2020 to formally present the 2021 appropriation bill to the joint session of the National Assembly. Mm. There's also a story on this day about uh, Governor Zulim of Borno urging the Nigerian military to change their war narratives. Also, you find Edo 2020 ADP to pursue pre-election case against Obasaki. Police file fraud charges against Ohakim and Buni. APC has resolved life-threatening challenges in 11 states. Mm. Some people are already making comments about the posts of Laziz Yetunde Lawa said we've got no value system in this country. We, rule, we are ruled by mediocres and unknowingly the citizenry has also lost every core value of our forefathers held there to their hearts. It's no surprise that most of our young stars, both male and female, now celebrate in decencies. Uh, that is the only way to feel like a real G in the eyes of their pairs. <laughs> How we went from being proud members of the Red Cross, Jets Club, Rotary Rotary Club, Boy Scouts, and so on, to being half-naked Instagram celebrities and lead show attendees still beats me. Ablazis Oye Tunde Lawa. That's a good way to put it. And Aditun Julushala Philip says, Sir, first class graduates will go home with 10,000 naira, and that's all. Nigeria does not value academic, but immoralities. Abedu here says patriotism individually we must wrap ourselves around our national flag more when we do that the rest of the values that makes a nation great fall in place but it's hard to be patriotic if the country doesn't give you anything so we have a case of the chicken and the egg which comes first and Kaya Dioju says, instead of taking from him into the covers of government in form of tax, he's been given them more. Now for our politicians who couldn't think out of the box. So, Emma says, he could have given Lincoln whatever honor he wanted to give him without the monetary rewards. I don't see any good in giving him some more millions to someone who just won 75 million naira. Looks like clout chasing to me. Nigerian like politicians do this. It's actually 85. 85. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's let's get the calls. Uh, if you are uh, listening to us, let's hear from you. 0809 155 1055, 0805 699 8678, and 0706 949 um, 3000. Godwin says, as ambassador, he will recruit more young people into BB Niger and will participate in the infamous act of displaying their naked bodies to the world. In the end, our cherished Yoruba culture will be totally destroyed. The question is, when are we going to reward the best students right. in Ogun State? What about the best industrialists? How about the best doctors who are in trouble in Africa? Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Are you there? Oh, it's gone. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you. This is Ayiko Tokoni from Lara. Okay, welcome Ayiko. So let's do this quickly. Yeah, thank you. You know, the characteristics, characteristics of every free government is unemployment, protest, and poverty, as said by the Mr. Vice President. But what, the question is, what does that mean? 
to alleviate or ameliorate the suffering of Nigerians as far as poverty, poverty is concerned. For the first time in the history of Nigeria, under, the, under this federal administration, Nigeria is related at the headquarters of world poverty. It is very very unfortunate. What are they doing? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, all right, so let's see who is on the other line. Hello, good morning. Hello, Hello good, mo good morning. Good sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. And good morning, Chacha. Good morning. On our value system, Uluwashio, if you remember some time ago, you introduced a boy called Uluwa Damilari who found some money in his, in his taxi. Yes. And likewise, he traced the owner. Can you remember that story? I remember, sir. Uh, our association, Association for Good Government and Governance, traced Oluwa, Oluwa Damilari with your good support. We got him. We gave him an award. We asked him a question. I personally threw the question at him. I said, why did you do that? You know the reply Oluwa Damilari gave? He said, we were not taught like that in our church mm. to take what does not belong to us. We were not taught like that. You see, God has embedded in us good and bad nature. The, what we must do is we must nurture it. While we are growing up, we learn more about it through studies. We were taught in poems, in literature. It grew in us as a life ethics. Society aided its growth. People with child erring people. Elders will rebook erring your youths. It was an unwritten law and a worthy virtue. Anybody who walk contrarily, they are they are, they are, they are, they are, they are seen as misfit in the society. Religion aided it at that time. But today we have lost it all. And why? Even religion has not made it matter in our time. We lost it because of our desire for mammon, which outweighs good value system. Okay, if so. Nigeria would be better than this, we must change the messages from our religious institution. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much for, for speaking here. Yes. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Come with the mother we you are. Come with the mother we welcome. Society is determined by reward and punishment. So that's how so God works. So I think uh, even that boy that got that money, he will not, was, he, was she able, good enough to even give, give him something? Because there's nothing wrong giving him, giving him 50,000 or 100,000 because he, he, he said you he was, was lost. There's no way he, no he could trace it. Mm. Then if I know that the government should find a way of uh, punishing those people that more, more, uh, mock up uh, people that have uh, tried to be, to be good. Police should, 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 should go after them. Thank you very much. Thank you, Comrade Thank you so much. That would be hard, seeing uh, as it's not a crime. Yeah, I mean, Hello. Hello. Good morning. Let's do this quickly. Let's good morning. She goes, yeah, welcome. I love you calling from Abia State. Thank you, much. Thank you. Good morning, Chacha. Good morning, Chigozi. I would like to ignore the issue of the budget, uh, the budget of the president tomorrow, because tomorrow I would have to that. Now, let me dwell on the story that was read about Ibrahim and Blessing. You know, if you look at how everything, when the story was going on, I was like, interested, and I said, time she this year, because that's the picture of Nigeria. Every Nigeria, look, you look at Nigerian youth, look at the families, family values and family system. We see the government, how they have failed. We see the hospital refuse to, refuse to uh, treat Blessing's mother. Hello? Hello, yes, I'm listening. Yes, go uh, ahead, we, please. We see the shots, the shots that shot the woman. We saw the police, everything, and like, all the systems, all the parts of the system is sick. And that's why everything in Nigeria is collapsing. And the only way we can do this, we have a listening government. Government. You know, that's the very thing say that nobody can afford to do what they want to do. That's the for Nobody can afford him. And that's a Democrat saying that. Nobody that was elected, nobody can afford to do what he doesn't want to do. Mm. It's very, very bad. That story is also able to, do, to take very, very personal, very particular. And see how bad we have gotten ourselves into it. And we have to plan a way of getting out. We have to get out of the We know that every Nigerian should stand up, one, to do right, and two, 
to see that what to see that before the government to ensure we force them in one or the other to do what we are supposed all to right. do to make Nigeria all right. right. Thank you very Thank much. You you. You. Thank you so much. Okay, all right. I guess we won't be able to take another call, but. You see, if you look at this, we won't be able to take another one, I know. So what we say is let's just sign out at this time. So what do you say as we round off? Uh, the hope is alive for me. Uh, it would always to, uh, be to be hopeful, you know. Um, headlines, I've heard people say headlines of newspapers are depressing these days. You come up and all the stories are just heartbreaking. But hope is all we have and hope is what I Hope to hmm. hold, on, hold to. on to. Okay, it's good to hold on to help. Okay, budget is uh, a situation where they brought something together that I love so much. You can actually trace their location to your state government and local government on their on their platform. I, I was looking for Edo local government. How much they got in August? How much are your state got in August? Are your state got five billion naira in August? from federal allocation and Ido got 232 million naira uh, and they have projects are you tracing those projects are you aware of what the local government is spending your money on hmm. i should check that out yeah i'm a show and i'm charity we're back at eight o'clock stay with us Here is 105.5. Accessing 105.5.